Yeah, and you've got Redgar playing into position. Redgar's going hunting. He's not just worried about cutting off rotations. He wants to cut things off way earlier off, but Sonic gets two big openers as well. Damn it, I don't know they're, they're going to be able to get onto Last the side. Yeah, Redgar dealt some damage over by B, but that's really all he had, and that leaves Shados in a pretty brutal 1v4. Ooh. Oh, and they know where he is. You gotta go, guy. You gotta go. He had a gravity wall on the other side of him, too. There was nowhere uh, to run. His gambit just continued to kind of get picked apart here. And for Vikings, you want to get out of this round as cleanly as you can, and that's certainly not what you want to see. Nats gets a sheriff of Great Chronicle does this, has one as well. All of a sudden, Doug, this oh, is a 2v2. That's mm -hmm. somehow got past these two players and got the spike. He wouldn't have very much time to get the spike down. So a clean start and full, full Ooh. purchase here for Gambit. And look how aggressive Depo is. Well, and it was off the gravity wall that was there. Nats is just going to create a distraction. He's going in. Well, yeah, and the alarm bot that was there gave his position away. That triggered the fault line. And you're right, he went in to try to find some of that. But Vikings, they, they had all of their bases covered in a sense uh, to kind of catch Nats going in there. That's going to force Gambit to turn their attention towards B. And it's kind of worked out so far. As Chronicle was able to get the opener. There was a ghost back site. And it was good to take care of Redgar, but not much more. That should allow Gambit to get onto the site and get the spike down. But the question is, are they going to be able to hold it? They have the weapon advantage. Plantalize off that. Not any more utility left here. For Gambit, Shados, he's gonna have to get this kill. Shados? That was kinda scary to look at, but Chronicle. Alright, so Chronicle was able to get one. Shados, he's gonna have to force his way out of garage. Sadak swinging Ooh. around. One kill, but doesn't get the second as Sadak got it to half. And he's gonna get the defuse. Vikings, how they can you turn their run. attention towards A, where they should be playing off of the lockdown. It's gonna be countered by one of their own. Redgar creeping his way forward onto the site, trying to find some space to work with some room to breathe. This Defos up in heaven, providing cover fire. Both gonna go off, and it looks like both teams should be able to get away unscathed. The stalemate, a gentleman's Ten agreement, if you will, left. and now. Things are open now. Both teams press go, and now the kill feed lights up. Four seconds left. Chronicle looking to get the spike down. Should be able to do so. A 3v2 in favor of Vikings. Rolling Thunder coming out. He's been knocked up at a high heaven, but the Nano Sword provides enough cover for Chronicle to get two. But he's not quite done with the job. Sudikas has to go in aggressive. The Viper Spit comes down, and he's not taking the bait. He's going to wrap his way around. He might get the timing on this Potter, but he's got to land it just right. Not able to Ooh. land the shots. Chronicle minutes to work with. We'll keep an eye and down. see if they invest those. But their utility usage has been uh -oh. so good. Here, make these bullets count. Two members. Chronicle, he's good for one, but he gets immediately traded out. And look at the spike, Doug. No one is near it to pick it up. That's the thing, Potter. One for one's on the side of Vikings here. That feels good, right? Like, you take those. And that's all it's been back and forth. They have their way here. Again, Jesus, GTN, he's one away from the showstopper. Oh, he's definitely going to take some damage from this. Good on Shados to open things up. GTN's going to have to be crispy with the Sheriff. That's crispy, but the dash forward, he has the showstopper. But again, that draws out the defensive cosmic divide. Now they're going to try to work their way towards a site. Sadak's going to have his hands full. Yeah, he's got nothing. That should open the door for Gambit to get onto the site and get the spike down in time. Shados flashed up, flashed up, and doesn't matter. Defo. That moment, it's just all chaos. It's all hectic. It's all chaos. It's, it's a matter of who comes out on top. And in that moment, a lot of pressure this time. Everyone's fighting for mid. Defo wants to go. Defo wants to find. And Defo done. Definitely pretty GTN. The jig hasn't been up. Oh, but he Whoa. peeks right into Redgar's crosshair. And just punished for that mid-round aggression. Look at these two. Just biding their time down in sewer. Look, if Defo goes down there... Oh! One, Whack two. Ball. Man, just so good. So good. You can tell they, they were trying to wonder, how do we want to approach this? How do we want to do this? I'm out of Make the Vikings have to respond. They've got to react. There's the Astro Orb. Yikes. Oh! Nice. Another, another instance where Gambit is drawing out our ultimates with a fake. They draw at the lockdown towards B. There's nobody there. They invest their own cosmic divide. Now the rolling thunder coming out from Vikings as they're going to have their hands full. Sudikas again in a position where he's going to have to go huge. And so far, so good as Sudikas gets to Chronicle managing to get the spike down. But Sudikas has not been dealt with. The clip runs dry as he falls. Chronicle avoiding things there. 1v1 is all that's left in Sadak. Sadak, the savior for Vikings in this round, gets the defuse. Incredible round here. Screw with the Vikings rotations once this is all done and over with. Reach utility to clear it out. They invest. Oh my god. Oh, no, they're going! Oh. GTN gets two off the showstopper. They were sitting ducks. They had nowhere to go. Defo's so weak. They do have the spike. 
smash for utility, gets him through, finds him the there. safe passage onto the site, but you've got two members from Vikings there. The Cosmic Divide's gonna fall out as well as Gambit Creek their way Get forward. Way. 30 seconds left, the Blade Storm comes online. Nats, oh, GTN, you're not quite done yet, left. are you? Still playing back site. Devil's gotta find some value with that thing. There we go, that's exactly what they needed. A 2v2 is all that remains, make that a 2v1. Sassy, you mentioned it, Potter, the MVP in a position to go huge for his team. Again, <gasps> great flash, but Nats gets four. Gambit gets a set. A pretty good idea that the hit is coming for Dave. And they have all of the utility from the Killjoy set up to be able to kind of take care of that. There we go. Exactly what we were just pointing out. Chronicles turret and the Chess is already hustling back. You've also got Redgar in an aggressive position. This is textbook out from Gambit, but the kill doesn't come through. That should get Vikings onto the site. Love this pivot. Such a decisive quick call for Vikings. They're going to have to get this flight. Spike planted Spike and make planted. all these frags count. It's come down to a three versus three post plant here. Oh no! Yeah, looking to attempt the retake. See the cash drops. Spike ticking away. Saucy! Holding things off just fine. Saucy Last with a great shot. Standing. Makes it a 1v2. FRZ's got a lot he's gonna have to deal with, but if he's able to isolate the gunfight, he might have a chance at this thing. He's got the classic and he still has a bit of armor to his name, Chronicle, on the tap. Pulls it right back, the turret to provide some cover, but they're gonna have to do this soon. I don't know, Chronicle getting into half. FRC, you got challenges, oh. he challenges it, but Chronicle lands the shots of just- Killjoy holding off the A push, but so much aggression here. Pressure mid at just the right time. This is at just the right time. It's going to be a problem. The fault line, they start to work their way out. Don't know that there are two players up. Oh, there they go. One. Oh, no. ah, the Blade Storm. Not able to do it, but there was Sudokas at just the right time. He was able to grab one of his own. That should create some space, but Chronicle in a spot to take it right back. Oh, no. I don't know that they know. Sassy, if he gets the timing right, the gun barrel, he should be able to clear out that ultimate as well. My guy is Wait. safe. Walk your way Wait. out. Oh, that's so close! Yeah. All right, Redgar cleans that up, but he still has his work cut out for him. Two members left, one around Pillar, the other one further off-site. And Redgar, oh, the turret just catches him there. He does have a smoke to his name, but FRZ is playing this so well, just biding the time, Go using that zooming. spike. As a teammate and beautiful. And that was the bullying that you mentioned. Sadaka already has to give some of that space. Back a shot right to the face. Not enough yet, but you saw the turret that trigger that somebody brought down, and that's why you saw the hop shot there. There's Nats creeping his way forward. He manages to find the opener on GTN. FRZ still down there. As Nats drops. Spike the down. Flag. Here beat. comes the spike. Shado's finally making his way to the site. He's finally here. I think he's gonna probably be the first point of contact. Maybe he's waiting for his teammates to get contact, but Devil gets taken out. FRZ getting a little spicy with it as Shados does as well. Vikings fall apart there at the end. Save it for the actual retake, and there's my answer. He's gonna go ahead and use it before. I don't Ooh. think he's gonna get much Five off down, off okay. of it. Nats and Chronicle already fine too. But already on the rotate, Redgar trying to take some more of that space <laughs> away. Nice Five shot down, out from Defo. He's gonna get a shot at another one here. The flash. Not exactly what they were looking for, but Sassy. I just don't know that there's enough wow. there. I mean, maybe, but you still gotta yank so much of it back in your way. And you've got Redgar, again, making sure there's nobody rotating back. They can double down on this defense on A. Yeah, this is going to be so tough, especially because Saucy took a lot more damage than I'm sure he wanted. Ten seconds left on the clock. At this point, Ten it's looking like left. Vikings just want to save their yep. guns, hopefully go into the next round, make something happen. Not a bad call either. You take a look at the ultimates that are going to be coming online. We've got the Showstopper. We've got the Killjoy ultimate. So definitely it's good. Potter, let me, let me ask you this. Given okay, the fact that that put go. Gambit into map point mm -hmm. early on, nice. utility coming in as the rest of Vikings work their way towards A. You've got nano swarms, you've got alarm bots, and guess what? You've got Chronicle, or else you had him. Some time to switch off if they want to. This is sitting on a ticking oh. time bomb. Shadows. Oh, oh look at the timing God. just right, and he does. And unfortunate for Sonic as well as he looks away at the worst possible time. But with that, you kind of have to go, right? You have to get onto the site. Sasi tries doing that and manages to take care of Redgar along the way, swinging out around the pillar. But you're going to have to mess with the guys that are in the Viper's pit. Defo went off barrel down his throat as he cleans him up. 
Saucy's the last alive. He's gotten three. He's going to need two more to play another round. And he's going to get a shot. And the flash gets one. He got four on the round. But that's all he... Ability. Look at Saucy. He's still in drone form here. The timing's going to be brutal. Defo finds an opening. And Sudikov will see if he'll be able to respond. Ooh. They're going to have to turn their attention oh. back, and they do. GTN so starting hard. off great as Sudikas gets a second one as well. The flank that we talked about, the disaster spot, is, is really taking care of. And off of that, Vikings are able to rotate away, understanding there were two who were pinching in. B should be open. They're absolutely right. Yeah, they should be able to get the spike down here. And Redgar, he's made it in time. He's in the general vicinity. He's got to be... R versus Sudikas. We'll see who comes out on top here. Got armor. He didn't need it. Didn't need a lick of it. He's able to win that out. A 3v2 still in favor of Vikings as the spike ticks away. Gambit looking to find an opening. It's big that they were able to take elbow control, but their job's not quite done. A great flash as FRZ swings out. Up from Hookah not finding anything quite yet. They continue to go forward. Redgar finds it. Has to find the second one, though. Sadhak dancing away. You still have to take care of the player that's up in Hookah. Redgar. Looking to get it potentially to have oh, No, Sonic swings out at just the right time. I don't know that he got it to half. Sonic's still alive. The noose and Shados gets the kill. But he didn't get it to half. It's not going to matter. Vikings win. Timing. Holy. He made his way in behind the new line. Sonic has control of you Hall. More trailblazer in his face. They push him right back. But you haven't dealt with him. Oh. And you don't know he's there. Take Defo dashing away. Not going to be able to stay alive long enough to make a difference. Sadak gets too big there. You called it, Potter. The timing to get into U-Haul to create that space. Really, I mean, it cracks the side open for Vikings. Now they're going to get the spike down. I wouldn't be surprised if Vikings just go ham here and hunt them down with their bonus weapons. Oh, and Redgar, what a response. A little too much ham. A little too much ham. A little too much ham. Never thought I'd say that. But alas, <laughs> a little too much ham. But Potter, at the beginning of the round, you mentioned they got to win the bonus. That's going to be spicy. That's mm. where, where Vikings should, in theory, it is for them to go, and it just hasn't left. been right, right? Like, the, the wind hasn't blown to just the right space for them to feel confident in their ability to go, and off of that, you're seeing some of this trepidation as they move forward, but now they feel a bit more comfortable. It's been slow, but it's been sure. They're going to get onto the site, oh, trying to no. spam through the Viper's wall, and off of the tracers that come off the Vandal, they're able to trade that kill right back. FRZ and GTN get a couple of pieces. Sassy does as well, but Defo has a chance to be the hero for Gam. You know, he... I can, I know he wanted to kill the spike planter, and then all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose, and then, really, you got with try. the ob, didn't get a spot on anything, but the Trailblazer did come through, and that's a whole lot of utility coming your way, my guy. The oh, no. Fury in as well. Defo still trying to stay alive. He dances around all of it and lands his shots on the FRZ anyway. GTN takes space up short. Sucker punches Chronicle and showers. Vikings have found some space to work with on the site, but Gambit refusing to give an inch. They're still healthy enough to be able to fight this thing back. Yeah, the spike went down, but they took control right back. How do they get the defuse? How do they continue to take care of what Vikings have thrown their way to get this defuse? Spike taking away. It's going to have to be soon. The flash, the swing. Good on to Shados. Only two on the side of Vikings remain. Redgar on the tab. At least gets it to half. Sudikas taking oh no. care of that. Redgar's going to stick it. His suck didn't. Oh, no. Sudikas, that's going to hurt. Those jellies for Shados were pretty early. He definitely felt the pressure on there. Whoa, Probably going to miss. What a shot from Ash. May have given away some info. Yeah. Unlucky. It just catches Sadak. So that info that you're talking about definitely is going to go over towards the Gambit side. This Hunter's Fury hits the mark. We'll see if he's able to finish off. And he certainly does. Yeah, Vikings, they have to TP. They're going to make their way towards A right into the hands of Redgar. Redgar's only got a judge. We mentioned it earlier. He's going to have to take this aggressive angle, and that's exactly what he does. They know he's there. The judge doesn't deliver. Vikings get onto the site. 13 seconds left. Should be able to get the spike down. No ultimates to speak of oh, for anyone else, but there are kills aplenty for Saucy as he gets three on the round. It's all down to Nats. If he can get one, he can maybe make something happen, but doesn't land him. Saucy gets four. Took response for Vikings. That was a 2v3 conversion. And no timeout. Yeah. Oh. That's rough. I, ooh, I like this, though. This isn't rough. If they can make it convert, this is exactly the kind of seemingly... We were there, and then we left, and now we're back. Spikes down. You've got Saucy in a really good spot there to cut off any rotations. If they come in through Defender Spawn, the Viper's pick comes through, and there's green all over the place. It's like we're watching Nickelodeon in the mid-90s. As both Viper's pits come through, Natch drops him off that. is going to fall the Viper's pit as well. Sadhawk pushing his way forward. Through that very same ultimate that we just highlighted, Gambit have a Marshall. 
in the hands of Chronicle into that Viper spirit. I mean, what do you do? Defo's already fallen. Sadak has got three on the round. Okay. And Sadak has got four. He's going to get a chance at the ace. Potentially, unless Saucy's a bad teammate and steals it from him. Yeah, Shadoff doesn't. Shadoff doesn't have time. Sadak, go get the ace, guy. Go get the ace! They give it to him! You saw him walk away to tee him up! Potter is what you were looking for out of Gambit Whoa. just a couple of rounds ago. The flash, they swing Whoa. out again. They did not leave B entirely open, though. I don't know that they know that Redgar's there. Redgar's able to take Sadak right. down, oh, and he damaged two other oh, members. They're no. so weak. He gets the second, not able to land the third, but the damage has been done. You see there's a little bit done there, but the spike going left. down. GTN taking right, elbow left. control to deal with the defenders that are starting to rotate around. They're going to walk right into his lap. GTN has a chance to go big here for Vikings. Potentially get them to eight. I don't know that Gambit can find a way in. Not easily. Oh, GTN, this paint shells could potentially be huge. There's that combo. It Whoa. barely, barely Shadows just limping away. Now it's a two versus four. The spike is ticking away, but Sudikas, he's got he's gotta come up huge here, Doug. He does again. No ultimate. They do have a couple of shock darts in the hands of Saucy. What can you do there? Nothing. Shados is gonna get the defeat for Gambit in their defense here. And he almost got third. Yeah, really? yeah. Probably should have got. Oh, what? Okay. My guy comes through. Now, surely here, Chronicle is the nuisance. Chronicle. Oh, oh no! Chronicle is not a nuisance. He had a chance to be a nuisance, but he didn't really convert it into much of anything. Make things interesting by being aggressive, but it seems like every round almost, besides one. Powers control. There's a chance at something here. Chronicle takes one hit but stays alive otherwise. I think they're in a, they're in a, I feel like Gambit are in a really good spot to take this thing back. The flash out, of he turns it away, but the sneak bite keeps him at day, for now. Oh, Defo gets what a winner. dog. He's going in, he's going in. Yeah, doesn't get a second one either. This is what I was talking about, man. The showers control that they have, if they're able to maintain this, they should be able to reestablish control of the site. The Seekers come out as well. GTN has his hands full, and as you so aptly said, Redgar has a judge. He's like, got the judge, and he's able Oh no, and Sadak is there as well. They've got a really good crossfire set up, but they continue to push their way forward. Oh. There's that crossfire that I was... Not a lick of damage either. Gets taken out, and once again, Gambit on the back foot. Saucy, this timing... Oh, unfortunate for Saucy. ...way forward you want undetected. Your That's exactly what they're doing. Now they have the Cosmic Divide coming out as well to split this, the site Thirty seconds left. in two. They haven't fully breached their way through that yet as GTN gets a spike down. A good flash coming up from Shadoff. Not able to land any of the shots. Sadak is, however, as the numbers advantage still in favor of Vikings. What a flash. What a play. I thought that would be everything, but Sadak is just so ready. Red guard. That's crispy. He's going to need at least another... And the showstopper out from GTN, I was about to mention it. He's able to really just use that to zone. Nats doesn't really have anywhere to go. He's got to buy time for Redgar to make a play. That's exactly what he does. Redgar's gotten three on the round. This is still doable, but they're going to have to get on the horse. They're going to have to do something quick. You have so much Astro Utility littered around the spike. That's exactly what happens. Redgar's fourth. The gravity well. Redgar's fifth. You asked for a spike, Potter. That very well may be it. He's got to get the defuse, though, first. Oh. Woo. Okay, to be a full-on B hit here, Doug, because none of the Gambit members have anyone back towards A. They can't make a TP back. Gotta go. No place to save. The options are limited. Defo taking care of Sadak. Elbow control drops as well. His Vikings fall shortly thereafter. Shock Dart's coming through, but the spike should go down, although that was certainly painful. They may have an opening at this room, but no! close. Oh, GTN. GTN's utility opens things up. Back for Vikings. Redgar and Chronicle left alone. Yes, the spike was down, but can they hold it? Can they keep them at bay? You've got a ghost and full armor on the side of Redgar. So he's healthy enough to make something happen. And they don't know that they know that he's there. Oh, he's been so tagged up, though. The swing had to be there from Chronicle. And there it was. Chronicle gets a second. Chronicle needs one more to win the round. The classic swinging around the corner. You gotta land the shots, but no. It's Sudikas who wins the pistol for Vikings. What a pest. Gambit, as you said, for sub this time, Ruva not nearly as successful. Defo off the dart, finds the kill. Beautiful setup out from Gambit. The spike should be going down here now, and Defo, he's he's looking like he's loosening up, man. He, no, no, <laughs> wait. Okay, Sudakas is able to run and gun with the Spectre of his own. He finds three. And now, just like that, there's four members alive. That's a good flank for Redgar, a nice response.
But the spike gets taken away, Doug. We've been here before. Vikings. Okay. Man, it looks like they're gonna do it again. The tap. Shadows has to make <laughs> something happen, and he dropped up. He tried to pop a flash to swing out and cause problems, but Saucy's able to clean that up. So Vikings get to ten. Gambit. They lost the pistol. They rolled the still win, but only two of you survive. And in the very next round, you're up two to zero. But you can't afford a single weapon. You can't afford utility. You you barely have what twenty? I believe it's thirty two hundred to your name. Wait a minute. What is happening here, Doug? All of a sudden, we're looking at two versus two. Nats is happening, and Shados is happening. Nats has already gotten three on the round. Shados, seconds left. Or excuse me, Nats got two, and Shados got one. He still has to rotate and get the spike back, though. Oh, but they're going to... They're, they're going to walk. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to walk right into Nats. He's got that bulldog. The bulldog good for one. Yes. The snake bite to delay entry, and from pipes, that should give... Shade off enough time to get the spike Ten down. Seconds left. And the poison herb as well. How have they gotten this far? It was off the sheriffs that we were just talking about. They've gotten Gambit to this point. F or Z, nothing doing. Nats gets four with that bulldog that he found. That's what's happening in sand. There's nobody home. And off of that, I wonder if they fully rotate oh. off. Sassy showing, hey man, I can do it with the sheriff too. Oh, and I like this move. I like this move coming in from Vikings. You know, they did some sort of aggression in the beginning right off the barriers towards B. Now all members are B lighting it towards A. They're just gonna have a full five-man stack, and this is looking like the right call. Potter, I think I think Gambit might and the timing with Shados, the communication here, it's gotta be top notch to be able to get Shados a flank going and get these easy free kills in the back. I like Gambit taking elbow control here. That's exactly where the remaining members of Vikings are. The flash is there. That's going to give the position oh. away, but they swing out into it anyway, and Redgar lines them up and knocks them down. He gets three on the round there, and with that, Gambit are still in a spot to win this dang thing. Vikings just down to two. Sonic's going to get the timing just right as he gets two of his own. Shadows left alone. You talked about his 13 HP. That's all Gambit have left in this round. You see the tap coming out from Saucy. I don't know that they know where Shadows is. I don't know that they know wow. where he is. But he's been spotted. Welcome to my world. You hear the Viper's pick coming out as well as the spike goes down. And this one's going to be much faster and much messier than we've seen. You've got Redgar still playing, making sure there's nobody working the flame out from Sand. But all of the action, all of the attention is on the site. And once again, we find dueling Viper's pits as the Cosmic Divide comes out as well. Every single ultimate or seemingly every single ultimate coming out. And of course, through all of that, it's the nade that gets the first. The showstopper, there they want to go. You oh! can tell they want to go. He checks the corner. He's able to land it on the Shados. Nats oh, drops no! as well, courtesy of his friend Chronicle. But the single Chronicle, you're going to have to make up for what just happened there. And he's going to get a chance at it. The Hunter's Fury, but he pulls off of it. He's got to stay alive. He's not able to. GTN gets three, but no Gambit. That's not good, FRZ. Just had a shank out, Doug. He's sending a message. He's telling Gambit, look, man, I don't even need my gun to win this round with a Vikings. We're rotating back towards B. They had the right read, but for some reason, they went back towards A. Devil's got to land those. Devil's got to land those. That's the win condition. Is that oh, blade sword is broken by situation? And Devo isn't able to land any of it. While his teammates fall as well, Chronicle's the only one who remains healthy here in the round for the side of Gambit as Vikings, their defenses are bolstered. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we'll avoid that. That didn't happen. But they still have such good numbers. Shados has to make something happen. He's not just a couple days ago. This seems very fast and very aggressive and a very good start out from Gambit. His Depo's already gotten the pistol. Shados drops though, man, and Depo does as well. This is huge though. Chronicle, he's just kind of made his posture, right? He's made his stand. He's stopped the flank from coming in. So he can feel pretty confident that he can hold other angst it's all down to Nats. He's got to survive. Three versus four post plant, completely doable. But Nat's got to be good for two here. Chronicle oh, the tag! So Chronicle has two shock darts. Oh, but he's playing so tight. I don't know that he's getting a chance at it. Redgar's able to take care of Sudakas. There's one. Sadak tanks it. I don't know that it hit him. I don't know that it's going to make a difference. The wall again causes problems as FRZ gets three at the or two. We saw them on Icebox. They lost the pistol. They lost the second round. They lost the bonuses. When this feels so much like. Oh, he got spotted. Yep, you saw it. You called it, Potter. Oh. They rotate back, but this might be the open end. Saucy, who are starting to creep their way back. Once the spa. Oh, and the dart, too. The dart's everything. Yep. Jigs up. Chronicle already falls. They haven't gotten the spike down yet. The wall's going to fall. Is Redgar looking to get it? He does. But it's a 5v2. This is. 
brutal. This is more than brutal. Look at this flank coming in from GTN. Defo finding that kill does mean a lot, but man, this flank for GTN. Well, and Gambit just had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Sukash just stuck it. Yeah. And this is the style that Gambit have been known for. They're starting Ooh. to be wise to it. FRC doesn't get a chance to do anything. And Sudikas, Sudikas was good for one. He, oh no, not able to land the shots Spike onto the planter. Revy three on the site. Remember, GTN was opposite A, so he's now going to have to hightail it back to get there in time for the play. The spike still hasn't been planted. They've cut noise again. Now Nats looking to get the spike down and should. Now a 3v3 oh, for the side and two. So Sonic swings at it just the right time. Tries to catch him on the way out. Doesn't land the shots on Nats, but does. On to Chronicle. 3v2. Make that a, my goodness, a 1v1. And the last thing you want to do is 1v1 against Arena, but Saucy has no problems with it at all. It shows that the Sova. Information here. Oh, head. Oh, no. Shados. Drop the Leer, but he manages to stay alive. He is in a peculiar spot here. He'll be able to dismiss away, but he just gets spotted. Yeah. What a dash. He doesn't get a shot at anything as he drops. You heard the Empress come seconds. online at the hands of Shados. Only has one armor. Down. To his name. Sudikas in a good oh! spot. Sudikas in a good spot, and Saucy Five is as well. Okay. Saucy gets two before falling. The wall goes up. The res comes through as well to bring Shados back online. We'll see if the Empress can cause more problems. More damage. The spike's still in tow. You don't really have time to go anywhere else. You're going to have to get through the defenses. You're going to have to get past GTN. So far, so good. Redgar should have enough time to get the spike down. Sudkos in that 1v2. Too much to look at at once. Gambit up from Redgar. He's going to get the spike down as well. Get one step closer to having that Jesus. res. The Hunter's Fury out from Saucy. Did some damage. He got some tags, but it wasn't enough to get the kill. And as you mentioned, Shados drops through all of that action. Post plan in tow. Oh, Redgar trying to find a cheeky timing. But he gets just deleted by Sudikas. Spike is ticking away. Viper's Pit is still in play. And I think we're waiting for some Sova Util, perhaps? Well, and it's another counter. It's another counter, Viper's Pit. They still have numbers. At least they had him. But Nats is going to respond with two. Vikings clean things up, though, and they get the defuse. It was a good setup out from Gambit. It was a slightly different flavor of what we've seen. Ooh, Sadhak. Oh, the they spin? know, they know, they know. The shock guard's there too. He has to oh, drop down. Wow. And it's a gift delivered to Zadok with Christmas right around the corner. He drops him and out without Nats taking care of him as well. 4v4 for the rest of the round. Sad hack. Beautiful response. Or rather, Redgar with the trade. Even doing some splash damage there. GTN, what a flank from Gambit Chronicle here. GTN, he's under Ow. so much pressure. He's getting flanked. And he manages to get Redgar anyway. He still has to deal with Chronicle. Mm, that shock dart, that pesky little shock dart. Stopping his antics for now. Okay, and Gambit have snatched this thing right back. That's spike a spike. Down. Yep, Attack and Saucy, he's, he's been a freak in instances like this before. He's come up big for the team. He's going to get a chance isolated as well if he looks at the right spot. No, nothing. Chronicle gets the third. Surely they heard it. Right? Surely they heard it, though. Oh. Says he goes up top, but are they going to be expecting him to pinch around? Yes, Nats is. Gambit seems to have awakened at least for now. But Sadak and FRZ keeping things at bay. Chronicle looking to get the spike down. Should succeed. Shados aggressively pushing the matter. Taking. Picks up a rifle. If he's able to find a first, maybe he can force it to half. They have their Hunter's Fury and they get some Chronicle, too. And there it is, right? Comes on out. They have to take that fight. Ooh. To his lap, FRC was able to get one, but that was all. And there are two members backside. Whoa. Saucy, he's good for it. Hunter's Fury is online. And the res as well. If there's a chance at something, maybe Sada can bring Fallen Comrade back. GTN no longer around as the spike goes down. You see the dart is giving Redgar away. Hunter's Fury, a little dance around. Nope. Really no need. Oh, and Saucy cleans him up. What on earth was that? Fish in a barrel! Saucy gets the last. Chronicle's gonna have to go absolutely hey. ballistic, and he's not gonna get the chance. The ace for Saucy, the seventh round. For Does go down. This should be a lot of information for Vikings. Well, and Sudikas is not gonna have his, <laughs> but in not having his to count. And yeah, this, this dark combo, it, it's gotta mean a lot. It's gotta mean everything for these Gambit guys. If they're even gonna bother retaking, which at this point, they kinda have to. Coming through, Shados creeping around oh. the ice wall. Drops. Saucy, see if you can find some more success. It's actually GTN and GTN with the op. 
See if Kafka clean things up and the ult is... GTN has that op, only Spectres for Gambit, Spike and that's not the start you wanted, and it goes from Jeez. bad to worse as Depo and Redgar are both sitting on the sidelines for the rest of the round. Sadak looking to add some more insult to injury. The drone's gonna give away the two members, drop off, a shock dart there, potentially the op to boot. No, it's Sadak. GTN's Blade Storm. And the op, oh, no idea. Oh, they know now! Chronicle. I mean, surely. Oh, right, yeah. What gets the spike down? There they go. Sudikas one trying to duck dive and dodge around the bullets, not able to do so. Takes one with him though. One for his troubles. Nats takes care of Saucy as well. So the thing's not looking too terrible for Gambit, but they knew where Nats was. They had to stick it to him, and they did. Shados on the tap, full control from Gambit back onto the site. That wall goes up. Shados gets oh, it to half. Yes, FRZ not able to do much more. GTN. Don't insult me. Has to do something, GTN. You wait. have to do something here. You can't just wait it out. You can't just wait it out. Woo! Gambit gets in that speed is go. The wall goes up. Sada gets spiked down. GTN still playing around. He does get tagged up. Ooh, and that's a costly death early on. Beautiful pickup for Shade Off. And oh man, all three members of Vikings are kind of congregated. They're all stuck under the heaven here. Do they check? Do they check? He checks, but nothing. Shadows drops. Redguard does as well. Holy. Oh, GTN. Nats, they have to fight back there. They have to fight down. And now the Nats comes up so big to get two, but the job's not done. Sudikas, you've got to swing out here. Don't let him do it to you again. The swing out. Sudikas challenges, lands the shots, gets back each step of the way. And it's beautiful to see from Vikings. Ball goes up. Defo and Shadows, you talk about having each other's backs. The two star duelists on the side of Gambit. Redgar for I think he's looking for it. Yeah, as soon as the wall goes down, both of them swinging on that at just the right time. Vibes. There's, there's a possibility to delay here long enough to potentially make something happen, but Saucy has to Last stay alive, right? Like, oh, that was the win condition probably in the round, unless Sadha goes insane and he's not. Chronicle goes with the dismiss and with the dash, so oh. we'll see what kind of forward kills Shados can get, but GTN, he finds one in mid. Viper's been coming through. Defo finds one as well to trade third. Swat back across to safety. GTN still playing around with that blade from Spike oh no. kicking away, but they're moving in a bunch. They're moving in a bunch, and that might be their entry in. FRZ is able to get one and drop back. Nats holds as well, Holy but FRZ is not going down without a fight. A 1v1. Defo's so weak. He's got that blade from the tap. A little shoulder given off from FRZ as Defo goes back up. Oh, the shots are there. Spike ticking away. He's gonna get away with it! He's gonna get away with it! My goodness, it was just enough time that was bought! You heard the pop-off go- Ropes. Defo's Blade Store seems to be the opener! He got two! But that's the thing, man. Vikings traded back through that. What looked so promising still ends up being an advantage for Vikings, but Chronicle looking to rip this thing right back into his hands. Saucy's got to go big. He's not this time around. Chronicle gets the- lost a couple of members along the way. Yeah, definitely so. Not clean. Not as clean as you would want, that's for sure. But either way, a, a round is a round, and Gambit... Or from Vikings Potter. Silence. Wait it out. Have Gambit second guess what the hell is. Oh, shock him. Defo! It's gone right back. The Hunter series out from Chronicle, and they should know exactly where they are. It's them look like a second tap. Now things don't look great. Sada gets the spike down, as you said. And they do, I mean, they do have the Viper's Pit and the Hunter's Three, but they're so heavily outnumbered. And the rest comes through. All right. So much better. This very well may be it. Gambit are going to have to take the fight to their laps, okay? They've been, you've been able to take care of one. You haven't taken care of the biggest problem that you've got here, though. It's getting better. FRZ dropped. There's the Hunter's Fury, but Sudikas gets two! Sudikas gets two! I don't know that they're going to have enough for the defuse. It's just down to Saucy, though. Shadows goes right up and close! Shadows gets the third! Chronicle is there on the defuse. Oh, Chronicle just he knows the time is on his side. It's ticking, ticking away. So he just pulls out the recon, teeing his teammate up. Perfect alley you to secure the round right here. Redgar able to go across the finish line. This is definitely making Gambit second guess things.
or Vi- Supposed to be cutting off the rotations. Now we're gonna end things up on B and oh. Defo continues to be a monster for Gambit. Vikings down to three. Blades from our mind as well. Oh, Not no. able to land the shots. We're down to a 3v3 here. FRC is so weak for Potter. Spike planted. Yeah, and FRC One do enemy does remaining. get taken out in the middle of sight. And just like that, it's all down to Saucy. He's got two shock darts to his name, but he's going to have to get some incredible shots off. Chronicle just being patient as ever. Waiting for Shadows to catch back up. And this should just be a three-man simple retake for Gambit. Oh, oh no. Unlucky. Unlucky. I mean, it still would have been. That can and, and, and has been happening within these rounds. It's just insane. Just left and right, back and forth, tug and pull. If Sadak, if Sadak had five more bullets. Sight. Different plan position here. Makes it more vulnerable to utility, but it doesn't seem to matter as the spike goes down. It's going to be a straight up 5v5 potter for this thing. Oh Gambit my. seemed to be holding up just fine oh as my. it all falls apart for Vikings Gambit. What the heck? We're going to overtime. We're not done. <laughs> we are not done yet, Doug. Gambit do not want to lose. They do not want to go down without a fight. The drone's already been used. Oh, you can see Saucy. Oh, he's already used it. Never mind. I thought he was holding on to that recon, but it's been used and two defenders stuck backside here. Wall goes up, wall goes down, and I think they saw Defo's shoelaces as he tried swinging around. Defo doesn't seem to mind. Gambit hold up just fine as Chronicle gets... Does a little bit of damage, but he's unable to find the kill very fast. And the spike gets taken away, Doug. Yeah, there's just so much going against him. Uh, at this moment, and it goes from bad to worse, as you saw. Or we're not going to let you isolate these gunfights. We're all coming at you at once. It's impending. At this point, you wonder if there's trigger discipline, if you just wait it out, or if... Oh, he spotted one. Oh, one. And he's going to be able to stay alive. He's able to dismiss the oh. second. Shadows isn't done. Nats has shown up as well. It's all down to two members left on the side of Brazil to keep them alive, to keep this map going. Oh, but it goes from bad to worse. It's all...